Hello and welcome back traders. In today's video, I would like to show you how you can download and set up ADAS for free for BTC trading. Unfortunately, I won't show you my settings and my approach to ADAS because this is part of our Lunar Hero Hero section, but I will show you how you can download ADAS and I will explain to you what each settings do and how you can benefit from it. So if you're ready, Hit the like button, hit the subscribe button, and I hope you will learn something new. Let's begin. Edus is a free trading platform which you can download from their website, and it provides things such as footprint, tape, dome, liquidity heat map, and so much more. I personally use only footprints, and I use footprint with BTC because Edus provides free BTC data. If you want to trade, uh, for example, gold or crude oil or futures, you need to pay their subscription, data subscription from specific exchange. But because BTC is not centralized instrument, the data for this thing is for free and you don't have to pay for it. And this is exactly the reason why I trade BTC, because it's free and it's still pretty much accurate, even though it's not centralized. After you download Adas, you have to create account and then you will get to this dashboard. You can also use Adas as a platform for trade execution, but I don't do that because FTMO and other platforms don't allow it. So for me, important tab is chart. Here you can see all the instruments that Adas offers. In most cases, I go to all instruments tab and here I find BTC USD on Bybit exchange. As I said, even though that BTC is not a centralized instrument, you can still use data also from Binance, for example. The footprint and overall order flow will be similar from both exchange. Only one thing which you need to pay attention to is scalping, because scalping with BTC or on BTC with order flow is not so accurate as with, for example, futures. So I don't personally scalp BTC with order flow. And that's because BTC is not centralized. So you don't have the sharp accuracy on lower timeframes. BTC with order flow is good, in my opinion, for day trading. Because when you do day trading, you don't monitor every single tick on the chart. Default settings of order flow on Adas with BTC looks something like this. And now I will explain to you what I personally use and what each setting do. When I trade BTC with footprint, I like to look for imbalances, where is volume created, and I also look at delta and at volume. I'll leave a link to my config in the description of this video so you can download this config, upload to the Adas, and you will see same visuals as you see right now. And now, what is the best thing on, a, on Footprint overall? Footprint shows you the volume, volume, imbalances, delta for each candle. So when you have key level and price reaches key level, you can open Footprint and you will exactly know if there are sellers, if there is buyers, if there is higher chance that this level will be broken or if there is higher chance that this level will hold. And in this case, you can trade the reversal. As I said, I won't explain to you what is value, what is imbalances, what is delta, what is, for example, price versus participant concept. As I said, we have full module on this topic on our Hero Hero. But in a nutshell, imbalances shows you intention of buyers or sellers. Volume is basically 70% of total traded volume per each candle. Delta shows you if there is more buyers, more sellers and volume shows you if there is interest in trading at specific levels and in specific candle. So through this information, you can decipher what the big institution will actually do and you can join them and capitalize on same move as they do. And that's the biggest advantage. In short, footprint in combination with technical and fundamental analysis shows you context which stands behind specific moves. I like to use term Ferrari for order flow because it's it's like Ferrari. If you have Ferrari and you don't know how to drive it, it's pointless. It's pointless and it's useless. But if you know the exact strategies and methods how you can use and benefit from order flow, it can earn you a decent amount of money. So this is my settings, which I use. This is my visuals. And this is maybe 10, 15% of air settings. And for us, it's more than enough to do long-term profitable trading. Volume, delta, volume and imbalances. Those indicators can show you what price will do when it reaches some specific key level. Also, really useful setting, which we use sometimes, is called delta. And this setting can show us if there is more buyers or more sellers at specific price level. 
not that specific candle, but that specific level. So let's call it Delta Profile. So for example, I have some support level and I want to see if at specific price level, which is the support, is more buyers or more sellers. And, it, and there's two ways how I can read it. One is through this static columns, which are basically below footprints, but this shows me only delta for each candle. And I want to see delta on specific price level. And for those purposes, setting called delta profile is the best thing that you can look at. Because you can monitor every single tick, every single level. So the main difference between delta and delta profile is that delta shows you the final difference between buyers and sellers for each candle and delta profile shows you each part and each level of the candle. So as a result, you can monitor buyers and sellers on specific price level of the candle. So when you want to trade, for example, a reversal off of some key level, you can switch to delta profile and you can monitor if there is more sellers, more buyers at this level. And because of that, you can make more accurate decisions. Of course, that it's not like that easy as it sounds like, but it was just example. You need to connect those things with more advanced stuff, such as price versus participants concept, fundament, technical analysis, volume, etc. And those things are more advanced. When it comes to timeframes, in my opinion, the best timeframes for BTC footprint trading is 5 minute and 15 minute. As I said, I day trade with order flow, so those timeframes are, in my opinion, best for day trading with order flow. If you want to scalp, the best timeframes will be, for example, one minute, five minute, and below. But as I said, we in Lunar Trading, we don't use BTC and footprint for scalping. This is too risky, and we personally only and only day trade with BTC and footprints. And for this purposes, five minute and 15 minute works the best. If you want to try different templates and different configs, you can go up to the column called templates and here you can choose from many presets cluster statics dark clusters big trades dynamic levels channels or even for example dom scalping but we in lure trading use only and only our config which is footprint with delta volume imbalances volume and sometimes delta profile in my opinion it's overall better to stick to one config or with one setting and master this setting, master this config, get good understanding what I'm actually trading, rather than just basically switch from config to config. Footprint and overall order flow can be also used with, for example, smart money concepts, because if you know your levels and your liquidity liquidity pools, you can basically set alerts on trading view, and after price reach these levels, you can open footprint and monitor those levels and see if there is actually liquidity sweep or if it's just basically SMC trap. Important thing is to get good understanding about footprint. Not just to learn it, but actually understand it. Because when you actually understand what is footprint and what is order flow, what's the mechanics of the market, you can then trade on your own. And in that moment, you become an independent trader. If you are more interested in this topic and you want to learn more, be sure to subscribe to this channel because there will be a ton of free content that you can learn from. And if you're serious about trading and about footprint and institutional trading, be sure to subscribe our Hero Hero and become our Hero Hero Gold member. Because here you will learn more advanced stuff that we don't share on our YouTube. Anyways, if you have any following question about this video or about this topic, don't hesitate and ask in a comment section down below and me or our community will try to answer you. Thank you so much for watching, good luck in your trading, and I hope I'll catch you in the next video.